Hello, my name is Dan Brady and I'm going to read a poem called Inspiration Point. While I'm recording it on this screen, I'm looking at it at another, so I'll be distracted a bit, but you'll hear it. Inspiration Point. The Pacific off Ocean Beach was beautifully calm. The sky above was almost clear. There was a slight haze, something of a breeze. It was Christmas Eve. If I could compose perfectly enough to encompass this sight, the distant surfers bobbing in the blue-gray as they await a wave, the broad beach at a once-a-year minus tide, the people meandering, the lone yellow kite fluttering way off to the south, the skittering snowy plovers, the couple writing their nonsense words in the sand, laughing, the black lab chasing waves. If I could take all this in and press it, reducing it to a scrap of paper and a proper scribble, it would be the last poem I would write. If I could have you see her eyes and how winter's light plays on them, how they hold every little thing if you look carefully enough, it would be the last poem I would write. When we went out to the ocean's very edge to watch water slide over the sand, such a thin, thin layer, and how grains gleamed saw the silvered row on row tumbling crests advancing how plumes plashed up off the big waves if i could have you hear the questions understand my fascination how childhood memories of an ocean far away long long ago touched my baby toes it would be the last poem i would write and i would be relieved of this and no longer serve the muse. But when she just walked into a dance, careless and causeless, clueless and wondering all the time, if I could have you see her smiling toward the sun at just the right moment, a moment I'll never forget well, if I could do any of these simple things, it would be the last poem I would write. Life flows with currents unseen, a hand held, a whisper caught, a made-up word, a wish for another day. How simple, a walk on the beach. If I could but tell you and know that I had done well by you and by her in the telling, then it would be the last poem. I would ever write, and I am sure of that. Thanks. By the way, if you're ever in San Francisco, come to Sacred Grounds on a Wednesday night. You will have a great opportunity for fine poetry and good food. Longest running open mic since 1972, according to the best and current research. So come on by, have a good time, and we'll see you if possible. Hope you enjoyed the poem. Thanks.